Okay, it was a, a good night uh, for the Gamecocks. We're very happy to have won the game. Uh, a lot of guys played really well. Brian Maddox came in there and made some really nice runs. Uh, Steven Garcia hit some passes, although a lot of them were short. Uh, of course, we got the big one with Alshon and Jeffrey there at the end to sort of put it away. Our defense uh, played outstandingly. Uh, we still can't get a turnover, but uh, we can force a bunch of punts, which we haven't been doing. So it was uh, a wonderful night uh, for the defense. Uh, we had the ball a lot. Uh, we made a bunch of third downs. Uh, had a lot of plays. That's the most plays we've had in a long time. Uh, but anyway, uh, Vandy plays us tough all the time. It's always a struggle against these guys. And uh, we're very fortunate to get a break or two here and there. We didn't play very smart. The wide receiver holding penalties. We're tired of those. Could have cost us a game, uh, but it didn't. So uh, had a field goal blocked and a lot of other things. But other than that, shoot, we're happy because uh, we won the second half. As all of us in here know, they're Gamecocks. We, we've not played the second half well at all in our road losses. And uh, we actually won the second half uh, tonight. So we need to try to continue that if we're going to have a chance to have a big year. So anyway, we're, we're, we're happy we get out of here with a victory. Any questions? Joe Bill, you got any? We had, what was the final score? We had Johnson City well represented tonight. <laughs> I will say that. Joe Bill. Talk about what the job that Brian did coming in. Obviously. Yeah, Brian did excellent. I tell you what, Kenny just couldn't get a hole. You know, yeah. we, we, we didn't block very well when Kenny was in there. It just seemed like, uh, I don't know, he cut right into him or couldn't shake one. But Kenny, yeah, I feel bad for Kenny. But uh, when Brian got his chance, he, he was making things happen. And. Uh, Obviously, he uh, ended up 149 yards. He, he got a game ball, he and Alshon. And uh, Stephen, uh, statistically, was very well. Uh, I guess maybe we'll go back and give him one once I see these stats here. We threw that little quick screen all yeah. night. Uh, they were zone blitzing. Uh, they, they zone blitzing, zone blitzing, zone blitz. And that, that was what we had to do, throw that little quick screen out there. And hopefully the wide receivers wouldn't get a holding penalty, blocking. So. That was ended up being a game plan. We had punt seven times. That's the most I think we punted all year. Uh, but uh, our defense forced nine punts, which was instrumental in the victory. When you guys were struggling in the first half, was there any thought with Lattimore? Was he? Was he? He no wasn't a hundred percent. And uh, Coach Graham said he's really not ready to play. So uh, we felt like you know, felt like we need to hold him up. How big was that touchdown drive to close out the first half? Uh, I think it was big. I think it was big. Yeah, I mean, we hadn't, didn't have anything going, and we used our two timeouts there. That's, that's why I guess it's important to save those timeouts. And uh, got the ball back and uh, scrambled play. We scored two touchdowns on scramble plays. One to Torrey Gurley in the half, and then the one to Alshon. We don't hit a lot of scramble plays, so that was, that was neat to, you know, that wasn't the way it was drawn up, but the uh, guys made a play. Steven made a play, kept the ball alive, and, Tory and Alshon came down with the, with the catches. Is there, what did you do in the second half? Did you make any adjustments? Because the first half was sloppy on both sides, really. Uh, well, we did a lot what we did on that last drive in the second half. Sort of got in four wides and ran it. And if they blitz, throw it out there. That was, that was a simple scheme of things. And uh, we ended up attempting 45 rushes. Only got 129 yards, which isn't much. Uh, but uh, Brian Maddox. Well, we had a lot of sacks, that's the reason. Brian Maddox uh, had about 150. Snap that one over the head that cost us 20 yards. Huh? Snap the one over the head that cost us 20 yards. Oh, yeah, yeah, the big, yeah. yeah. That cost us, what, 30 or four, so? Yeah, TJ finally settled down at halftime, and we didn't have any errant snaps after that. Yeah, that, uh, that cost us a lot. We, we made a lot of yards, but we always had, i tell you that punter for Van Dale, who he is. Hey, <laughs> Christmas. He might, it, was, it was a 60, 70 yard exchange every time he punted there. And we, we can't hold up very well. And then sometimes we catch it and run backwards. So, anyway, uh, anyway, we're happy to win. Happy. Is Marcus close enough to 100%? Were you confident he's going to be available? He may. Next we'll we'll see how it goes during the week. Uh, but obviously, Brian uh, ran very well. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize Stephen hit that percentage. But the uh, receivers did catch everything. And Tory. Boy, made a great catch uh, right before half on that one down the middle. That was uh, that was a, a big time catch in the middle of a, a lot of traffic there. I, I think Melvin, did you hear Melvin broke his hand during the game? Yeah, he cracked his hand and uh, they sort of put a little portable cast or something on it. Uh, I think he played a little bit in the second half. He was out there.
How confident were you when you challenged uh, Garcia's phone? Was he came back and said he was on the ground. And uh, somebody said that one of the officials actually pointed downward. So uh, the ref reviewed it before we had to challenge. Actually, uh, we, didn't, we weren't going to use the timeout either way. Steven said his knee was down. I said, well, please don't fumble. <laughs> 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 but anyway. It looked like you had a lot of success once more. He, he told me if your knee's down, you can fumble, can't you? No, he didn't say that. He said his knee was down. Yeah, Steven hung in there. He played tough, and that scramble play to Alshon was a thing of beauty. That was, uh, I thought the guy would catch Alshon. He's, he's sneaky fast. You know, he looks like he's not a real fast guy. So, somehow or they don't catch him. He, he gets out there, he goes. Uh, so that was, uh, that was a good play for Steven. And, uh, and the play tore it. Yeah, he had, he had some great plays. Coach, it looked like in the second half you had success when you went to the no huddle fast tempo yeah. offense. Yeah, that was uh, something we would continue doing and uh, try, to, try to get the other team before they get lined up. But, uh, yeah, we scored right before half with that. But anyway, we're happy to get out of Vandy alive here. We didn't get out two years ago, so uh, we're, we're very happy and looking forward to the next two home games, Joe Biddle. Yeah. We play pretty good at home. Check our record. So hopefully that will continue. Yeah, we need this one badly. Yeah, we're gone. Badly.